quarter of what you expect because of how this run has gone since the play? Yeah, you know, it's the playoffs number one. You expect it to be tough. Uh, you know, two, just because the regular season didn't go the way, you know, we wanted to go or other people wanted to go, doesn't mean that we weren't developing grit and tough habits and and good things. So it wasn't just, you know, from the play-in. Um, but we were expecting, you know, this game to be like this. It's, it's going to be a cage fight. Um, you know, it's clean, competitive basketball. Uh, we have great respect uh, for the Knicks and how they play, how they operate, um, how they compete. Uh, you know, and they jumped on us in the first quarter. Uh, you know, because they do good things. <laughs> they 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 uh, they're very aggressive. Uh, you know, but we just were able to hang in there and understand it's a long game, and we started to get a little bit more of uh, you know to our game in the second quarter and. In the second half, we just uh, you know were able to to get a lot of more defensive stops that I think took a little bit of pressure off our offense, and uh, and then we made some timely plays. I mean, it, it probably started with you know Kevin Love's um, rebounding and outlet passes. We were able to get some relief points, which is tough to get you know against this team. Uh, and then uh, a lot of different contributions. Gabe was really good. Uh, you know, Jimmy obviously was Jimmy. Uh, Max hit some big shots, and then Kyle in the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, was uh, was so important. We were able to get the ball to him, and he made a, a lot of important plays. Yeah, the, no idea. <laughs> you know, you just don't know. You know, with ankle sprains, um, I don't even know if we'll know more by tomorrow. You know, we'll just have to see. It'll be a waiting game. You know, but he did not want to come out of the game. Uh, you know, so we left him in there. Yeah. You know, uh, that number jumped out at halftime. You know, uh, you know, for a large parts of the season, we were we were top of the league and points of paint allowed is around 40, and they got our, our average in the first half. Uh, but that's what they do. They are an aggressive, attacking, assaulting team, uh, and you have to do your work early. You have to put bodies in front, um, and you have to be able to to make plays defensively without fouling, which is a whole lot easier said than done. You know, considering how aggressive and, and crafty they, they are. Uh, but at the point of attack, we, we're much more competitive uh, in the second half. Um, Caleb, Jimmy, Gabe, uh, uh, you know, Bam uh, in his moments. Uh, and then Kyle in, in the fourth quarter made, you know, three or four just veteran, physical, you know, the heady plays, you know, savvy plays defensively that uh, you can't really teach. You just, you, you have to match competitive wills with competitive wills, and, and Kyle's one of those kind of guys. The order series was, you know, so much offensive against Milwaukee. Does it take a minute when you start the next series to kind of get it back to the defense that you sort of need to play in, in this round? Yeah, but, it, it, you know, I, I wouldn't just assume that, you know, each game is going to look like this. You know, we've played these guys four times. Uh, during the regular season, and two of the games were in the mud like this, the throwback Heat Knicks that you would expect, and then we had two shootouts, basically. Uh, both teams you know, feel confident in their offenses. Both teams can put some pressure uh, on the other team. Uh, and in the playoffs, when you're talking about short sample sizes, it, 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 the game will be whatever it'll, it'll be, and, and you have to just find a way to conquer it. Uh, tonight it was in the mud, you know, particularly in that second half, and unfortunately we were able to, to make enough plays to get the win. Can you give us your thoughts on a couple of players you mentioned? Uh, Gabe, what he did, especially holding things down early with his early burst, and then Kevin Love, like you said, that spark in the third quarter with those three, really four, to be the just one, but incredible outlets. Yeah, you know, the the veteran um, experience and, and presence that we have on the team really helps. Um, you know, and Kevin is, is one of those guys. Kyle is one of those guys. They just stabilize everything. They just, it, it's unspoken, but they, they give your group confidence. They've been in these situations before. They love to compete. Our entire locker room loves to compete, loves big, massive challenges, and that's what this is. Uh, and Gabe is, is one of those guys uh, as well. And even though he's a, a young player in the league, um, you know, we view him like a veteran player. He's been in our program for three years now, and he's been a pro for you know, four or five years. Um, and with the injuries that we've had with Tyler out and Vic out, we 
frankly do need Gabe to be more aggressive. Um, and he's doing it within the context of our offense. Uh, but we do need him to put some points on the board or at least make the defense play him. Uh, and maybe they make an adjustment, you know, the next game and, you know, he's, he's fit in as a facilitator long enough that he'll be able to, to play in that role as well. Uh, that's a credit to the work that he's put in and how much he's improved uh, in the last three years. I know you touched on it a little bit, but A, what was your first thought when you see Jimmy go down the way he did? And then B, what kind of impact did that have on the team? The fact that he stays in, he's clearly hurt, he's clearly compromised, but that he's actually... This group, has, this group has been through a lot. We've been through a lot this entire year. Um, and, it, and we're not being insensitive, you know, to when guys get nicked up or, or get hurt. Uh, but our group has learned to compartmentalize uh, and, and focus on the task at hand. And that's what it was. There wasn't an overreaction. Uh, we've had enough tears behind the scenes of guys, you know, getting hurt and, and, and stuff like that. It's we, we have to get the job done. Um, and we've had probably more practice than anybody else, you know, uh, having to step up when, when guys get hurt. Um, but that certainly is inspiring that he would not come out of the game and, and to be able to finish the game uh, just infused a bunch of confidence to the rest of the guys that we have to finish this off. So would you have let anyone else stay in the game in that situation other than you? I don't, I don't know. Udonis has them, probably. <laughs> I don't want to get beat up on national TV. Would you potentially have to protect Jimmy from himself? Yeah, we've been through this, you know, a few times. Um, so each ankle sprain is is unique, and and uh, you have to evaluate things on a case by case basis. Um, you know, he sprained his ankle, you know, several times, you know, with us. Uh, so I, I know him. I know when I can look in his eye, you know, and and. Um, he assured me that he wasn't going to be a liability and he wanted to stay in there and make sure we get this win. I mean, that's the most important thing. We've had a lot of chaos and a lot of things going on, but main thing being the main thing, we got to secure and get the win. Um, and then we'll, we'll figure out what happens in the next 48 hours. How important is that level of trust that you have with him to know in a moment like there are just any player when they're, they're trying to fight through something that you can kind of... Yeah, it's, it's one of the things that I really enjoy, um, you know, about this league and, and, and you're getting a little bit less of it now and, uh, because of the, there's so much turnover. Um, but I love the, the, the long-standing relationships that you can earn that trust. This is not something that Jimmy and I have developed in the last month. You know, this is four years plus the bubble, so it feels like 10 years. Um, you know, um, but like I said, when, when we can have that look, there's an understanding, okay, that, that's different than if, if it's a new player and, and you don't have that kind of uh, experience together. Are you surprised that there wasn't more? I mean, once he's clearly hurt, he comes back down. Are you surprised there wasn't more, for lack of a better term, matchup on him, forcing him to guard those they, however many minutes? Do you think they were being passive? I did not feel like they were being passive <laughs> at all. That's, that's, that's not the Knicks. You know, the, the point of attack is, is really important so you can keep bodies on bodies. But again, that's easier said than done. <laughs> like These guys are going to get into cracks, going to break your defense down. And, uh, you know, we've developed a lot of those habits um, all season long. We've been one of the better, you know, defense rebounding teams in the league. This team is unique. You know, uh, Robinson is is relentless and, you know, they crash multiple guys. Uh, you know, our guys understood that that's a, a, a major factor, you know, for us to be able to, to win. Is this the best Larry's played this season? No, I wouldn't say that. I would say that this is probably the healthiest he's been. Uh, no, he's an absolute warrior. He's been able to do some amazing things even on one leg this year. Um, but those five weeks where he was able to uh, – step away and just really focus on getting himself healthy for these kind of moments was was critical uh but you know he's a winner he's, he's just an absolute winner and when you need him most that's when he's going to to, sh to show up and these kind of environments is is what at this point in his career you know when he this this place was electric this is 
all that Kyle wants <laughs> at this point in his career are these kind of opportunities in, in the playoffs uh, to have a, a chance to hopefully, you know, you know, win some games in, um, in the playoffs. How often do you practice this? We don't. I wish you could say we could uh, teach it. We don't. That, that's such an incredible skill. I mean, there's not many guys in this association that can throw it 90 feet, you know, much less see the play happen. And then on time, on target. Uh, that's an incredible skill set that he has. All right, thank you. There was a point this team, you were behind in the fourth quarter against Chicago when it almost was over there. And instead you come, you beat Milwaukee, you do what you did tonight. What's happened with this team over the last two weeks? Maybe what's different? Um, I think we're just kind of um, just playing in – and through what we are, right? I think we uh, understand what we want to do every time we're, you know, down the floor offensively. Um, I think we understand what we want to do um, defensively. Um, I think there's kind of like not a um, confusion on, you know, this or that. We know where the ball, where we want the ball to go, where we want the ball to be. And, you know, on the defensive side, we know, you know, where and how we want to play no matter what. And uh, there's no kind of, Confusion, just everybody's just on the same page. The Jimmy situation, obviously, he was, he was great in the last series. He was great until he went down there. One, what was it like in that moment to see him remaining on the court and what are sort of the thoughts going forward now, knowing how important he is? Uh, I was just, you know, hopefully he can get up. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's our guy, he's our star, he's our, he's our you know, franchise player. Um, you know, we always wanted to get up, and, you know, then the thoughts are <clears throat> hopefully he's okay. But if he's not, we got to find, we got to hold it down. We got to find a way to win the game, and you know that's why we got a, a, a team full of guys who are ready to play no matter what. Um, yeah, we definitely want him to be healthy and be on the floor. But you know, in that moment, we was like, we're up five, I think, or whatever it was, and just find a way to finish the game out if he if he couldn't finish. But you know, that's what he does. He finishes. He finished the game, and it's a tough dude. I think just uh, as a team, you know, personally, he's always been a guy I've always had a, a relationship with. But for our team, he gives us, um, you know, another guy who's been in the moments, who's made big shots, who's been in big situations, who's had <clears throat> ups and downs in, uh, in his career. But it gives another, like, joyful guy, a guy who laughs and smiles and, and gives some type of different perspective on the court and off the court. So, you know, you have that type of dynamic uh, of a personality coming to a group that has all different type of personalities or, or great people. It just helps with that, you know, the cohesiveness. Oh, after giving up all those points in the first half, what changed in the second half? Did you guys kind of I just think... Um, Jimmy did a great job on Jalen, you know, kind of keeping him in front. Um, I think we kind of just made some adjustments on um, <clears throat> the coverages that we wanted to do. Um, you know, I think the first half we kind of was a lot, lot more space, and then the second half we kind of just made a, a slight adjustment. But that's what the playoffs are. Every single game, you know, it's going to be different. Every possession might be different. Uh, just all about adjustments and just staying locked into the the, the moments. You've had your battles against Kevin. Um, just following up on what you said, like, they like, the it, it literally gave us an extra boost of just energy, a jolt, right? I mean, I know you guys have all watched the highlights of him being able to do it, the full court stuff, and he's been doing that forever. Um, pinpoint passes like that, and to have a guy like Jimmy to go get it, Max to go get that one, um, it's it's it gives us a relief points that we you know we always want. Thank you very much, Max. Once again, you guys do exactly. Did you just, I was thanking Eric. Anyway, but I'm glad you're here. Uh, here's the thing that's awesome is that you guys do a little shampoo job, rinse and repeat on game one. Uh, you guys know how important it is to get a game to start off a series. How gratifying is it to get this one again? Uh, that was huge. Uh, weather the storm. Uh, we knew it was going to be tough here. Um, with the crowd, it's going to be electric. Um, but I, I was happy with our effort, and you know, we had a lot of guys step up. I thought Bam was huge today um, on the glass, and uh, like you said, it was just important to get this one under our belt and um, give us a step uh, ahead and, and get home court advantage. And two cups of the Stroops juice didn't hurt nobody, plus that little juice box right there at the glass. I like that. That was good stuff. That's what I call it. Oh. Anyway, um, the adjustment you guys had to make defensively. I mean, the paint points were just flowing for them in the mm -hmm. first half. How did you... 
to stifle that a little bit in the second. We just got better, uh, get back in transition. Uh, we knew it was going to be a fast-paced game, and um, we just made sure we were, you know, scoring helps, but uh, even on misses, make sure we got our, our, our defense back and, and set so that uh, we can, you know, be there on the drives. We've seen it a lot this season, the offense with balanced scoring. It, it was great watching what Jimmy did against the Bucks. We're not belittling that by any stretch of the imagination. How better is this offense from a flow standpoint when everybody's touching and contributing? Yeah, no, we all love when Jimmy just does it by himself. Uh, it's fun. It saves everybody else's legs. But uh, now this is fun, too. It's fun when we all get involved, and uh, I think Jimmy would prefer it that way, too. So uh, Gabe was huge. Start the game, uh, get us in the rhythm. And uh, like I said, everybody stepped up and, and played their minutes hard and, and did their job. You enjoying the moment? or are you already thinking, thinking about Tuesday? Thinking about Tuesday. On to the next one. I heard that. Well, until then, we thank you for the time. Yes, sir. No problem. All right. Maximus, always one of us. Let's head back to the studio. Guys, thank you so much here with Caleb. Caleb, first of all, got to feel good to come here and get one in the garden. Yeah, it feels great. Um, obviously, getting one on the road is it's a great start to what we're trying to do, so we're just going to try to get two before we go back home. New York jumps out to a 40-28 lead in this game. What was the collective togetherness that was required to get back in in that third quarter? I think a lot of it's mental. We're just kind of knowing, you know, what type of environment we're coming into. It was, it's a game of runs. We know that, you know, they're at the crib and they're going to, you know, they're going to make shots. The crowd's going to go crazy and, you know, they're going to feed into the crowd. So we just got to make sure we stay settled. Last series, it was your hand in your face hitting a big three. Today it was lockup defense in the paint, in particular on RJ. Um, talk about that adjustment. You guys only gave up 22 total points in the paint in the second half. Yeah, uh, I think we uh, did a great job being disciplined down the um, down the stretch, just not trying to go for pump fakes and making it tough on them. You know, it's, um, they make tough shots, and um, but you know, sometimes you got to live with certain things. And today that we we were able to affect more than usual. You knew New York was going to come in and throw multiple bodies on Jimmy. Uh, how does it help you guys with the balance score? I mean, it wasn't like a 40-point game from any, from everybody, but everyone else stepped up and scored. Yeah, uh, it's really important. I mean, like you said, it's, it's, it's a new game every time, and obviously it's a different series, and you're going to get different looks, and um, that's why Jimmy's so great. He just He's going to make continue to make the right plays and get everybody involved, and it's only going to make guys around him better. Thank you so much. Get some rest. You got a big one coming up. Of course. Thank you. We'll go back to the studio.